Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Billy and his wife Robin O'Brien say that they're blessed. Two trees brought down by Hurricane Michael's winds devastated their mobile home. Home. It took about a week and a half for me to get out here. And uh, that's when I found the trees on the house. They spent more than four months in this pop-up camper with their adult son. We made do with what we had and we're thankful for it. Was it hard? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's hard when you didn't have a bathroom. How'd you shower? At the friend's house where we were had the camper set up. We used their shower and bathroom. Good to have friends. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> the O'Briens are among the lucky in Jackson County. Blue tarps remain plentiful here. There's a lot of people still still without homes, I mean, around the area. So. And a lot of people could still use some help. Billy quit his job as a correctional officer to work with heavy equipment in order to afford the new mortgage. Is this not enough money from DOC? No, 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 sir. It was, it might have, might have, could have made it, but you'd have, that have been it. You'd have been struggling every week. The O'Briens say that these trees are going to be here for a long time. The reason? No one can afford to pick them up. Robin says she's ready to celebrate the 4th of July. More than just that, celebrate that I can celebrate. I've got a home. The O'Briens are also thankful this 4th that so far there hasn't been another storm in the Gulf. Reporting from Jackson County, I'm Mike Vasilinda.